office workers, sports people, fitness enthusiasts, craftspeople, all of those sorts of people run into troubles, perhaps with uh, discomforts. They might be medically diagnosed discomforts, usually of musculoskeletal in nature, or they might be um, just nagging pains that you may or may not have gone to the doctor for. But we can enjoy our life a lot better if we have some freedom and ease and naturalness in our uh, movement patterns. Our movement patterns actually start with our thinking because it's our habits that we're trying to change. Oftentimes our habits interfere with our functioning. This method got started um, well over a hundred years ago uh, by a na guy named Frederick Matthias Alexander and uh, he happened to be an actor and kept losing his voice. Back in that day, when you were a one-man one reciter of plays, you had to project to the end of the auditorium. And um, he lost his voice. Doctors didn't know how to help him. They gave him a prescription of rest, which is still common today. But when he went back on stage, he lost his voice he, he and his doctors concluded it must be something he's doing to himself that's bringing on these troubles. So he, um, along during that time, he was teaching professional voice lessons to people. He organized uh, three mirrors and could watch himself and see what he's doing. He, uh, he found that he was um, doing some preparatory thing right before going to speak. So the bottom line is he figured out a way to change his habits and become more conscious of his habit patterns. He observed that uh, in many of us, uh, nearly all of us, our kinesthetic sense is unreliable. Any of our senses can become unreliable. Uh, let's take the example of you burn your toast in the morning, uh, you smell it, but after a while it goes away, somebody comes to your house um, and they, they smell it. Of course, you simply got used to that uh, burnt toast smell. Same thing with our kinesthetic sense. Our relationship of parts to other parts, uh, sense of balance, sense of effort, where we are in space, that's the kinesthetic sense, sometimes called proprioception. We can get a little clutter in that sense too. What is familiar feels right, and unless we're given a new example, we don't, um, uh, don't really know how to change our habit patterns. So when one comes to an Alexander lesson, uh, due to the hands-on guidance, an Alexander teacher can show you right away where you might be putting yourself wrong, where you might be doing things that are unconscious just in advance of next step in a series of steps. Now, Alexander developed this method of um, changing a person's habits and not only was it good for people with voice problems but it was good for anybody that um, did repetitive activity of any sort. It's uh, been published in medical journals, it's acknowledged by doctors, uh, there's nothing uh, non-congruent with modern medicine. But there's a double benefit for performing artists. Not only do they have repetitive strain issues, but um, oftentimes they have obstacles to their achievement. As we stop certain misuse patterns, then more or less the right thing does itself. For instance, many people have too much tension in the back of their neck. Well, the solution is not to put the head forward and up, but rather um, to stop the excess tension in the back of the neck so the head does tend to go forward and up on top of the spine. This work is about peeling away things, not adding new things. You're not actually given new exercises to do. With your daily activities, you're taught to pay attention and actually stop wrong things. So this work is about subtracting, not adding things. And that's quite different than um, how we normally go through our life. If we have a problem with uh, uh, how we feel, or a problem with our music performance, 
we tend to be given exercises to do. The problem with that is, unless we change our underlying habit patterns, unless we change our faulty actions and things we're unaware of, then there won't be real change simply by doing an exercise. What we need to do is change our underlying manner of use. And then when we take that improved underlying manner of use to any activity, the activity can be good for us rather than harmful.